Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. Hello, my boy. Howdy. Today, we're talking about meditating on good things. Whatever is right, whatever is noble, whatever is pure. And we've had lots of time to sit in our rooms and think. And so we might as well think about good things, right? And I'd like to think back on all the good memories that I've had. And one of those memories is from my time when I worked in Utah at another church called Grace. And one of the amazing youth that was part of that program, her name was Raquel. And Raquel now lives in Portland. And she had a kid named Juniper. And so I thought we talk with Juniper today, and she's only three years old, and we'd learn just what she's thinking about. Hi, I'm Juni. I just found a goldfish on the floor. Eat goldfish, and it's and it's in scary into this ghost neighbor. Wait, you have a ghost neighbor who's afraid of your crackers? I don't think that's right, Junie. But it is near Halloween, so I can understand why you might be thinking some scary thoughts right now. What might be those things that might make you scared or sad right now? Mm, a witch. A witch, yeah. What else might you be afraid of? I'd be afraid of a vampire. Mm. Yeah, afraid of vampires and witches and ghosts and goblins and those kinds of things? Mm, yes. It makes me sad when I was to grow up. I can not even have goldfish. When you grow up, you can still eat goldfish. Trust me on this. Are you afraid of the dark? Mm, yes. And then sometimes it rains here. It's rained a lot in the last couple of weeks, right? Have you heard some thunder and maybe seen some lightning? Yes, I do. There's some white green on in our in mommy's room. Yeah. Huh. Do you think it's worse in mommy's room? Yes. Yeah. Why is your room better? I slept in mommy's room. Oh, you did? Okay. Did mom make it things feel a little bit better when it was dark and stormy out? Mm, yes. When something scary happens, it's good to go to someone who can comfort us. And often that's mom. But God is also always there to comfort us as well. And this is what God says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, found in page 1183 in your VBS Bible. It says this, Continue to think about the things that are good and worthy of praise. Think about the things that are true and honorable and right and pure and beautiful and respected. And that reminds me of the song from The Sound of Music, My Favorite Things. It says, when I feel sad, I just think about my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. So Junie, what are those things that you can think about that make you happy? Mm, I think achy bones make me happy. Trust me, Junie, when you get older, achy bones will not make you smile. But I'm glad they make you happy now. What else makes you happy? Shroom, shroom. Mm -hmm. That's profound. What's in front of us often can make us happy. Are there any books that make you happy, Junie? I just read the pink and this is when, when I was a real story. Pink. What's Pinkalicious about? Pinkalicious eat cupcakes. Is there anything else that makes you really happy? The ghost makes me happy. <laughs> the ghost. We've come full circle. It's all about this ghost. What's the ghost's name? The ghost is named Happy. <laughs> oh, of course the ghost's name is Happy. Junie telling ghost stories makes me happy, but our gospel reading today also tells us about something even greater to think about. Something that is good and worthy of praise, that's true, honorable, right, pure, beautiful, and respected. It's the story of when Jesus went to the house of Mary and Martha. 
Mary sat at Jesus' feet and just listened to what he had to say. Martha got worried and she walked away and started to clean And then she realized, oh shoot, I don't have enough food. And so then she went to the store. And she got some food. And she got back and Martha made some crafts. She did so much work. So then she stopped and had a snack. Finally, she got so fed up, she said to Mary, Why don't you help me? And Jesus said, Mary has chosen the one thing that is needed. Food and cleaning are important, and we should cook and clean, but they're not worth worrying about. Martha was concerned about so many things, and she was so busy, she forgot about the best thing. She forgot about Jesus. Jesus could be busy taking care of the entire universe, but you know he always has time for? You. And me. That's pretty amazing. And he came up with a way of spending forever with us by dying on the cross and rising for us. That's how great his love is for you. So when you're afraid or sad or down, remember your favorite things. Maybe it's cooking and cleaning, or maybe it's a fake ghost that you came up with in your head that's named Happy. But the best thing to think about and the best thing to meditate on and pray to is Jesus. So why don't we pray to him right now? Repeat after me. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, help us to sit at your feet and make time for you. Because you made all time for us. You're the best. And all God's people said, Amen. Have a great week.